Are we crackling? It, it's okay now? I hear there was some crackles. I've been told there was crackles. Crackles in the right ear. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Are we still crackling? That might have just been SNES 9X. I could fix that. But I'm just curious, when I close it, are the crackles gone? Oh, man. Oh, what do you know? There's no more crackles. How is the program generating crackles? That's what I want to know. Like, how does computers... All right. Well, we can fix that. We'll use the BizHawk. Okay. Uh, I got this. I think. Okay, so this first one... Let me know if there's crackles. Oh, God, that's really low. The audio there is, is really low. But if there's no crackles, then we can continue. That's that's a decent volume. Okay, how's this? From Mario's first adventure. No crackles. Good. Okay, great. Alright, we, we've successfully defeated the crackled gut demon. The, co the cock goblin, I almost said. <laughs> um, so this is, uh, what's this one? This one's called C3 Demo of M1A. I don't know what that means. But, uh, it, apparently Mario's first adventure. Welcome to the C3 Demo of M1A. It's been worked on for some, quite some time. I really hope you enjoy the game. Create. Enjoy the game create. Mario begins now. Uh, okay. I'll enjoy the game create. I'm already enjoying the game create. Why does this music sound so familiar? Is this Donkey Kong Country music? Hey, this is pretty good. Oh, fuck. DKC2 music. Oh, it's pretty good. It's, uh... We're only gonna be doing a few levels of each one. And I'll let you know which one I think is the best. Oh, God damn it. Alright, so I, I might rewind a little bit. <laughs> because we're not... We're not here to determine how good I am at video games. We're here to determine how good these games are. Fucking hell. What is with this jumping sound effect? What's this dick clam doing here? Okay, so this is level one. It's a me, the info box. The trail looks hard, don't you think? It's not. All you have to do is hold B and X at the same time and run. This is the first level. This is when you get someone who's too good at the game. And they think everyone else can do the things that they do. So they make the first levels amazingly hard, and it just gets harder from there on out. Oh my god. Alright, so, I mean, it's it looks good. Mario looks really weird. Why does Mario look like a toddler? Toddlers and Tiaras, starring Mario. Look at that. You can't even get to the halfway mark. Okay, so immediately... The points are being deducted... For the difficulty. Because this is, like, not considering anyone other than people that know the game really well. And this is just level one. I'm being hard on it, guys. But I'm gonna be hard on all of the ROM hacks tonight. 
Anyway, it plays well. It looks good. It's based on Mario World, so you can't really go wrong with that. Uh... Okay, that's that's a little bit beans. That was beans. It's that door right there. So we find a warp in the level. Warps only happen on a regular level. It's not in castles. All right. Sounds are a bit broken, but this is so far pretty good. Overall, I think this is great compared to what I was expecting, to be honest. But um, yeah, this is a little bit. This is designed for people that want a challenge, which is fine. But, let's see. Level 2. Oh, I tried to do what the sign said. Didn't work. Maybe I did it wrong, but it didn't work. I pressed both bu both of those buttons at the same time. It's the Mario World engine. So, I mean, I know how Mario World works generally, but that was not enough room to cross that with no incident. Okay, there's a moon over there. Let's just keep moving. The sounds keep dragging out. Like every now and then a jump just dra okay. okay. <laughs> then again, this was made by a person named Daizo. So I suppose you should just expect hard when there's anything even with any letters resembling the word Kaizo. And this is Mario's first adventure. That's the name of this, guys. Mario's first adventure is harder than any of his second or third adventures. Here, let's, let's just cheese it. So you gotta pick. It's like Pachinko, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. What is this level design? <laughs> Alright, there you go. That's how you do that one. So yeah, I'll, I'll be using rewinds and stuff. Again, just determining the quality. Just gonna see some... I got some good ones after this. This should be... This is probably one of the better ones, I would say. Yeah, this level design is weird. You have to be so specific. And this is Mario. This is... Mario literally just got out of diapers. He, he just got out of diapers yesterday. And I missed the secret. Oh, no, that's not a secret. That just makes you do the whole thing all over again. <laughs> okay. So then you just keep stepping on... Okay, I see. I see. That's not too bad, then. Could be worse, I guess. I remember playing Mario's Jesus Jesus Adventure a while back, and it had some weird mechanics like this. There's gotta be good ones in this bunch. A lot of different kinds of coins. There's blue coins, there's green coins, yellow coins. Whoa, there's Crackle. Yeah, that's- that is... ...a result of... ...the game. It has to be. I don't, I don't know. Or the emulator, I'm not sure, but... Anyway, Tower Travel, let's just take a quick look at it. What is this music? Anyway, it looks interesting. It's it's kind of weird to start a Mario game off on the volcano level right from the start, but that's that's Mario's first adventure, you know? He was forged in the fires of Mount Doom and became the hero we all know of him to be today. Here's the thing though. I haven't seen any power-ups. For me, Mario games are most fun with power-ups. And I haven't really seen any. It just seems like you're just baby Mario and that's it. That wasn't too bad of a level. Oh, look! We got a mushroom! 
That looks pretty good. That looks, the graphics are good. And Tiku's Haunted Test. Just a... Quick look. Alright. Well... <laughs> Listen to the music. This next game is called Capture the Cake. If if it ever works, I'm not sure. Zildjian, 2012. That's when the world ended. Oh, hey Mario. What's up, buddy? Morton Koopa Jr. has stolen a delicious piece of cake from your fridge. Better go find him and snatch it back. Pipe dreams. Wait a minute. What is this? What is that? Right there. <laughs> oh, okay. That's normal. Point of advice, yellow dotted blocks are the ones, uh, revealed when you hit them. Okay. Okay, so we've got blue Marios with their mouths wide open. And we've got green Mario, uh, red Marios with their mouths wide open. And those are the Koopas. Okay, so that's the shells. There was something similar in Mario World. When you beat the game, the shells became Mario and Luigi. But not with their mouths wide open like that. Okay, so the level design here is a little... How should I say? Weird. Um, but not not bad. Not terrible by any means. I've seen... I've seen worse. Climb the palm trees to find some hidden treasures and discover secret areas. Oh. Football men. Oh yeah! Football! Really... Bizarre choice of a turtle shell. Also, those things are not dick clams. Not the ones I'm used to. Wait, let me rephrase that. Not the ones I've seen in Mario games previously. Nah. <laughs> uh, okay, so this one's not too bad so far. It's, it's far from the worst one I've ever played either. Um, it's just kind of... I don't know, boring, <laughs> I feel. But maybe that's just because I've I've played so many in the past. Still got the key. Okay. Go. Go. Okay. Again, really light on the power-ups. I'm not sure why these ROM hacks don't want us to have fun. What's that, bro? Y you want a mushroom? You want a fire flower? Nah! I got this key for you, bro. We'll make you carry it through the whole level. <laughs> it won't even open anything. Hmm. That's alright, bro. Pipe dreams. Leaves have fallen. Alright, so it's autumn. And it's the same level. No, it's not the same level. It's the same theme, just red. Kind of. Uh. Well. <laughs> I think we've seen enough of this one, um, to be honest. I don't know, like, what the cake has to do with anything. So there's no real custom stuff aside from the Mario shells. Like, everything else is just... the same, just about. Except for the rainbow UI. Um, let's switch it up a bit. Chaos Complex. So that's, that's not too bad. 
Mario's Cake Quest or whatever the fuck it's called. This one's called Chaos Complex. So there's gonna be some edge. So far, nothing looks different. Have I been rused? Give me a second here. Uh... Wrong button. Fuck! I think I just froze the game by accident. It's frame advance. Uh, where's the... Where's the fast forward? I guess that is fast forward. It's frame advance. What the hell is this? It's... it's... There's nothing different here. Why the fuck is it called Chaos Complex? Alright, time to reprogram the game. With a bunch of turtle shells and glitched Yoshi. Maybe I'll set a speed work a speed record. You know though, seriously, I think maybe I did something wrong. Hang on. I don't Yeah, this looks like it's not working. I think Chaos Complex is fucked. Alright, never mind that. Excellent. Chaos Complex, very good. Oh, yeah. Hang on a second. Lunar IPS. Yeah, I probably have to do this manually. Give me a second, guys. I know I have to, uh... I, I was wondering why the file was included. Give me, give me a sec. I'll, I'll get this. I'll get this worked out in a jiffy. Fucking, you go through all the trouble to include it. Just patch it. You know. Just what are you, what are you doing, man? Patch the thing. Patch it. Okay. So we're going to apply. Uh. Hang on. Let's see if I can do this quickly. I think I can. All right. Got it. All right. Now we've got something here. Now we've got Chaos Complex. Here we go. For your pleasure. <laughs> For your health. All Someone just emailed me Pretzel's Mansion. I wanted to create a 3D game a la Luigi's Mansion. I I might I might come back to this sometime. Jacob presents. Okay, so now we have a name for this developer. Jacob. <laughs> it's called Hack. <laughs> I didn't know that was legit. What? After playing Funky for the 10,000th consecutive time, a secret key exit has appeared. What could this be? What's Funky? Oh, right. Funky. Yeah, the Funky levels. Collect 50 purple coins before the time runs out. Okay, so it's just collect the coins. Oh, come on, come on. This is way less funny. At least that previous hack was like, you know, the developer, <laughs> the creator was talking to me like I was one of his own. I don't- I don't see any of that happening here. 
Okay, so this is the developer, Jacob. Way less friendly. And, and I don't even know where to go because there's no signs everywhere. So I'm lost. I'm already lost. Well, let's let's hope I don't have to collect every single coin. Maybe I can miss a few. God damn it. I'm stuck in the bullet pit. Um, yeah, I don't know. This is, yeah, you need all 50, I think. Alright, well, that was just hack. So, moving on. This next one is called Hack 2. Oh, no. So this is, yeah, this is Hack 2, guys. The sequel. Golden Yoshi presents. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, what is this remix? Oh, it sounds not good. Info. What is, what's info level? Please choose a help topic. <laughs> what? This is what Mario needed all along, a recipe. Wow. Well, thanks for the dip recipe. <laughs> Each jump will cost one coin. Make sure to collect every coin. Use your jump sparingly. Okay, that's kind of cool. So you can only jump a certain amount of times. And then that's it. Then you're out of jumps. Interesting, but if I didn't have save states, this would suck. <laughs> Graphically, it looks really good. Fuck's sake. So yeah, every coin you collect is a jump. I, I think that's great. That is a really good mechanic. And I've known some shit mechanics. Oh, God damn it, you have to... Alright, so this is a little bit... Like, really hard. A little bit really hard. Because you need that shell, and you need jumps. And I don't have either. Cool beans. The feathers in this level give Mario wings. Press B to repeatedly fly. Let's let's check out Whoa. This is interesting. Uh, let's check out some of the various, you know, game mechanics. Because it seems like almost every level has something new going on here. It's a shame it's only just called hack, because I mean who the fuck is gonna find a game called Hack and be like, Oh yeah, I'll play that. Like, it should be called, like, Mario's Evil Time Gods. Or, like, Mario Challenge or something. I think it's a lot better than Hack and Hack 2. Right on. Transform some enemies into other enemies. Press the R button to give it a try. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, 
<laughs> wow. This is a hell of a thing. Come here, Mr. Football. I need you, Mr. Football. You gotta jump, Mr. Football Man. You gotta jump! Oh, fuck. Flashbacks of Kaizo coming back. Uh, this is this is really good. This is really clever shit. But you know, trying to figure out how to do all the little things. I'm sure it would take a little while. So let's just keep moving. We'll do a few more levels of hack, and and we'll we'll try some other stuff. Hurry up! Your coin count will decrease by one. If it reaches zero, you will die. <laughs> Again, really clever. Look, they even have little... Um... Snowsuits on. The Koopas. The Coopers, sorry. Do this right. Shit, not enough. Alright, fuck this level. Next! <laughs> Bangin'. Mario will automatically alternate between normal jumping and spin jumping. Hold the B button for a boost. Okay, so he's automatically jumping. I see. I see how this works. Again, without save states and rewinds, this would be a bitch. But really, it's really clever. Okay. And one more we'll check out. Spiffy. We got 4,000 viewers. Welcome, guys. Thanks. Grab a boo mushroom to safely pass through lighter colored walls and enemies for a brief amount of time. Okay. So first we have to, like, fucking get... Mushroom. Uh, okay then. And dope. Last one. Last one. Oh no, a sneaky little bandit is running off of the cake. Catch it before it reaches the end. Hey. Hey, get the fuck back here. This isn't Mario's cake adventure. God, this level design reminds me of Zool. I'm pretty sure the cake is long gone by now. Yeah, it's gone. <laughs> Morton, the time god, is up to his old tricks, Mario. Yeah, I was doing pretty good for a second there. Hey, I did it! Alright, one more. I'm gonna do the tower. Le Grand Finale. You can only enter the pipe on the right if you found all 20 exits. Oh. Never mind then.
Jump on enemies eight times in a row to teleport to the next area. So this really... This really tests your abilities. Next is Jigsaw's Test. So I'm assuming this has something to do with the Saw franchise. This better not be disappointing. Because I'm expecting greatness from Jigsaw. I want to see some like real fucking psychological shit going on. Like this. You hear that noise? That's the level of psychological damage I expect. Jigsaw. There he is. There he is on the wall. Jigsaw. Spooky. Mario, you may not know me, but I certainly know you. In fact, everyone across the globe knows your name time and time again. You rescue the lives of others, but you possess the ability to save your own. You're confined in a sec secluded cellar. Nothing comes in and nothing comes out. It's up to you to find an exit. I would be breathless. If you succeed. I don't know what Jigsaw's voice sounds like. I don't remember. So Mario, do you actually possess the will to live? The surface is just through the door. Live or die. The choice is yours. <laughs> um. You fucking wolf. So, am I just expected to find the exit, like, randomly? Okay, so you can't go on either. Uh, you found a rusty... Oh, of course, I saw the rusty hammer there. I, I knew it was there. Can I use it to break the door? You broke the mirror with the hammer. That's bad luck, you know. Wow, this is really fucking in weird, but kind of amazing for a Mario game. When you are surrounded by darkness, follow the light in your heart. Well, you know, Luigi, I don't know if I ever told you this, but my true love is actually Pretzel. Yeah, it's not you, Luigi. All right, well, I have um, some lovely advice to follow my heart. Oh, uh, Mario! I've been looking for him for a week. He went off with someone named the Puzzle Piece or something. I don't know where he is. Told me he and this uh, pretzel guy were getting together for a lunch meeting. Um, this, this kind of sucks. Gotta say, it kind of sucks a little bit. I don't know, it, like, how to look in the drawers. I've, I've tried. This is, as far as I can tell, the only way to look. Um, I would like to jump on the right platform. I have no idea how to do that. Alright, so, maybe it's somewhere, hang on, maybe it's somewhere over here, like if I fall down through the ladder, oh, did it, another note, follow the blood, that doesn't help me. I follow the blood, the blood's right there. I 
Can't get over there. No, oh, this is this is poop. Okay, I I maybe just pressed the wrong button again. What is this fucking frame advance bullshit? Oh, no wonder. Frame advance is the wrong thing. I'm looking for fast forward. Hang on, I found it. Frame advance will do some something I won't use right bracket. Okay. Okay, here we go. We're going to skip ahead and let's see what happens when the timer runs out. Oh, wait, someone said spin jump. Hang on. Wait a second. That's actually clever. You bastard. You bastard. You were right. You found a knife with a note. How much pain are you willing to suffer in order to save your own life? The clock is ticking. Live or die. <laughs> is that enough pain for you, puzzle piece? <laughs> Dead. Okay. I can fit here now. Oh, okay, okay. You're running out of time. I suggest you return to the beginning. Okay. Okay. Oh. You notice something behind the table. You push the table aside, find a lever. You try flipping it, but you're currently too weak in your current state. Too weak in my current state. All right, so the knife. I would assume. Oh, my God. Time's running out. I would assume I need a mushroom or something. Fuck. Die and restart. See, but you can't do that. You you need to spin jump before you cut yourself, get to the table, push the lever. There are no mushrooms. Ah, okay. All right. Why am I still playing this, guys? I don't know, but we're going to do this one more time. Oh, you need to actually find the note before you can break the blood blocks. It's kind of bad design, but all right. So you need to stab yourself once, activate... Cut yourself once, okay. This is really bizarre, okay. Fine. There's once. Um, what? I can't push the table. Go to the right of the ladder in the dark. It's weird because I don't even like this ROM hack and I can't stop playing it. Go to the right of the ladder when you're small. Oh, right, right, right. Hang on. You have a point there. Nope, not there. Maybe something over here. Nope. When you cut open the lever, go back to the room with the blood room. Oh. 
Upon entering, you notice an area that was previously not open. God damn it. It's like, just try everything. Maybe you'll get lucky. I take it this wasn't the exit? If you are listening to this message, it's because you have failed. You let your ego and your pride get a hold of you. You do not realize what was written right before your eyes. Okay. Not even Jumpman could cross you. Find yourself descent, uh, a decent supply of oxygen, but you are doomed to spend the rest of your days within this pit of despair and lost hope. Game over. All right, well, fuck you. Not even Jumpman himself. But yet I can't stop playing this. Did I win? I commend you on your success. You have kept it calm during the time where most would panic. However, this is not the end. This is hardly the beginning. There will be blood. This is the end of our little tech demo. Get the fuck out of here. Really? I don't even want to see what happens when the time runs out. I'm pissed. <clears throat> that was kind of poop. This next one's called Mario's Keytastrophe. So I had no idea. You are win. Tech demo complete. Welcome to Melodia. Oh no, is this... Oh no! Is Mario a composer? We've been sailing for days now. I don't know what we... what he intends to do once we arrive. But he sure seems desperate to spend a large amount of time getting there. Why did I even agree to come? I should just give up composing. On hearing the news of a new land called, called Melodia, Mario quickly hurries to see the wonders of it. However, he will see far more. Yes. Far more. Clef's Decision 1. Oh, what is this music? Machine Guns, of course the one game that is centered around music is broken to the point where the music is fucked. That makes, <laughs> makes everything so much better. The one game, the one ROM hack that was specifically music. Upon stumbling... Into this war torn land, machine guns fired everywhere. Yeah, I think we're done with this one. I think we finished this one. Here, I'll, I'll do a different one now. We'll do a jet ski. Jet ski full. Inappropriate jet ski. Okay, that was not a, a, official Luigi seal of approval. Not include. Oh god damn it! Welcome to inappropriate jet ski 19. Get ready for nonsensical everything. Oh no, is it trying to be nonsensical? Frosty Freezy Freeze. Cold place is cold. Better not slip away. See what I did there? Alright, this is the opposite of the previous one. The chaos one that we loved so much. 
This is a, a, like a strict attempt to be random. Penguin of Doom style. Spork of Destiny. Fuck off. Uh, and the level design is... is you, you can see what's going on here. It's, it's not terrible, I guess, but... It's not terrible. It's like just swim through tight corners and, and not get hit. The music broke because you're not using the correct... I, look, I understand that. That's fine. I'm sure that ROM hack was great. It was cool and everything, but, uh... That's fine. I'm good. Box of Justice. Here's some cool super effects code written by Urson. Plot bra sex with color or merge cache to stop loop. What? What? I don't know what the words it are in this game anymore. <laughs> I've been trying to process that sentence. It's like the Lewis Black comedy special where he's like, if it weren't for my horse, I wouldn't have spent that year in college. Like, my mind just broke trying to understand that sentence. And I gave it a fair shot. Plot brah. What's up, brah? What's up, brah? You looking for some plot brah? We got that for you, brah, if you need it. Yeah, I'm good. Next level is digging a mole hole. <laughs> Impatience. Okay, this level is at least... Uh, there's moles. Can't deny that. We got some moles. There's a key over there. And I'm ready for the next level. Plot bra. Amazing grass cave. This grass cave here is pretty amazing. 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 What? Mm. So... I understand why the word amazing was misspelled now. I get it. Okay, next level. <laughs> Spoiler, he dies. No, Yoshi. No. Why would you let Yoshi die? You have no feelings. Stop playing right now, you guy without feelings. I am so sad. I got... I got trolled. I just got trolled. Hang on, we, we need... we need to do one more. Look, I give him, uh, you know, an attempt. There's an attempt here. This volcano has lots of ninjas. You should keep an eye on them. Colonel. Keep an eye on them. Alright. And one more level. That's all I can... Well, there's only two left, but we'll just do... Super Pipe Town. Welcome to Super Pipe Town. It's super because it has lots of pipes, though. I don't see why it's called town. This game's creator is mad. <laughs> he's... He's wacky, and he's mad, and he's giving away a car for free! Come to Crazy Lou's Sofa Emporium. You'll be the Sofa King. Alright. An attempt was made. Next is, uh... Well... Just Blob? Wow, we haven't even got to the Sonic... ...games yet. I think you guys are gonna, like, really love the Sonic games if you- if you like these at all. 
just blob. Okay, start off with some good music. Oh, this looks interesting. Right? Okay, the music is a little dis... Okay. So it's... recreating that song with the... Mario sound font. Hello, this is our hero for today, Blob. His friends are kidnapped by the evil Dr. Blue. It's up to you to rescue them. Okay, this looks cool. It's a bit small, but you can jump like one of the best. Try it. Yeah, you can jump really high. Okay. Tell me I'm not the only one that sees a cock and balls directly above me. If you want to go down these blocks, just press down and you'll fall through them. Break them with shooting them, little red orbs you've collected. Oh, so that refreshes, so you can collect more orbs, or fireballs in this case, but... So the coins actually serve a purpose, they're, they're ammo. Oh, there's wall jumping. Blue blobs, um, are invulnerable to shooting. I think this is great so far. This is this is the one of the best ones yet. not see cock and balls though guys I, I think that's my problem I'm, I'm sorry to give you that problem as well but that was my problem but yeah this is it's a good game it's it's you know it's cute the aesthetic is good um, plays well it's got a few twists on the standard formula and um, the music is Kirby I can't really complain too much about that overall I'm, I'm actually impressed this is so far, my favorite one. You know, not in terms of humor, but in terms of gameplay and, and something unique. This is the best one yet. I really, really like it. This is like Tucker gone right. Okay. Let's see, we'll do a few levels. Do this now. I go like oh, okay. Yoshi's Island music. Yeah. All right. Bollocks, fella. Very good. And that is the goal. So, this is very good. I recommend Blob for anyone who's looking for a fun Mario... This is Mario Land music, right? From the Game Boy game. I'm sure it gets better, too. I'm sure there's a lot of cool levels. Uh, I would recommend it. 
So, anyway, I've seen enough for now, and we continue on. Sorry, Blob. We continue on with Lost on the Islands. That's the name of it, Lost on the Islands. So, like, what's lost on the... Is something lost on the islands? Are we lost on the islands? Are the islands lost? We'll find out next time. On Vine Sauce. It's only a demo. Shit. All right. Oh, no, you have been lost on the famous Lost Islands. Okay, so we're lost on them, and the islands are lost as well. Okay. You're going to have to find a way out of here. Misty Island. Okay. This is the first lost island. Beware of the red piranha plants. They can hurt you, but they vanish when you press a silver P switch, but they are rare. Okay, I'm seeing some... Alright. They're rare. Famous lost islands. Yes, the red piranha plants do indeed hurt. I can't deny that. Um, so the graphics are pretty vanilla, but a few minor, a few minor things that I'm noticing to keep it a little bit different looking. Doesn't look terrible. It's uh, pretty standard stuff, I would say. Okay, so those silver things, they just turn them into coins. I did not misspell Slav Simulator. It's not Slave Simulator, it's Slav Simulator. I'm just saying, that's up next. Well, after the Sonic games. Alright, I'm a little bored. Um, Mario goes to the Adventure Park. So we'll rapid fire a few more of these. I got caught up on that <laughs> chaos one. Uh, so we're a little caught up there. But I'll just do a few more Mario ones that seem interesting. So this is Mario goes to the adventure park, as you can see. And he is... Mario is boring, so he goes to the adventure park. All right, that's, that's all the story you need. Mario's boring. He wants some adventure. He goes to the park. The pretzel game does not exist. The person was just asking if he could make it. I, I'm gonna say yes. So this is a park. I suppose it is. Looks like the background to Adventure Island. really derpy. Yeah, this this is another one of those like kind of light reskins but with with not a lot of interesting stuff happening so far. Maybe there will be. I'm not sure. Let's do Wario's Return next. There's actually a file in the folder called Don't Read Me. So I'm not gonna read it. Right, fuck, now I'm curious. Thanks for download- Thanks for downloading my hack. It's the demo one. So don't worry- do, Don't not worry about the status bars, title screen, and other minor things. I will chance later. I will chance lather. Guys. I will chance lather. Also, sorry for my bad English. Oh, shit, now I feel bad. I will not put credits in this version, but thanks to all my Brazilians friends. Okay. So this is Wario's return. <laughs> We're gonna chance lather. Wario was traveling on his ship when he found finally... Finally found an island when he stopped there, attacked 
Some pirates attacked him. I'm so... My brain. God help me. Alright, Mario 3 music. If you collect five Wario coins, you will gain one life. Okay. I remember those enemies? From, uh... Oh god, my voice is, is shot tonight. It's like I'm 15 all over again. I'm officially 30 in 24 hours. This is the last 24 hours of me being in my 20s, guys. So let's, let's make it special, shall we? With me playing shitty Mario and Sonic hacks and voice cracking all over the place. So it looks like a colored version of the Game Boy games. The first Game Boy game with some Super Mario World stuff. Um, it's not terribly unappealing. It's it's okay. I'll tell you what, though. This is probably one of the best faces I've ever seen. It's like a mix of both Bert and Ernie. <laughs> oh my god. Also, someone sent me a, um, I forgot to mention this the other day, but it was really, really cool, and I'm grateful, and I will post a picture <clears throat> at some point. Someone sent me a Toad Amiibo painted Vine Saw style. Bernie. Bert and Ernie? Bernie. It's not Wario, it's Bernie. Hang on, guys. There's there's a one. <laughs> I knew something was weird about this face. Look, look at this face. <laughs> I saw it. Wankend at Bernie's. Why? Why, dear God, did this machine gun start now? We were- I thought we were past this. I thought we were past the machine gun. Oh. Fuck. I'm done. I'm done. Mario's Endless Adventure. So that was decent. I'm sure it's- it's pretty good. The level design wasn't that bad, and it reminded me a lot of that Wario game on the Game Boy, so maybe it's good. I don't know. Okay, shit's real now, guys. This is Mario's Endless Adventure 2. Leaked. Escape from Koopatraz. Regular color patterns, press 8. I'm not using any of those. If you went to sleep, you could hear a voice. Is this in a regular color pattern? I can't tell. Wait, 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 wait. Was that sweet dreams are made of this? These? Sweet dreams are made of these. No. I can't read that. That that seems irregular. Here's some really low, weird crackles. Okay, we lost sound. Yeah, I definitely am using the wrong emulator for this. That's 100% without, without a doubt. Okay. Guess what? I am not playing this. It's not compatible with BizHawk, and I'm not trying the other one because that one crackles. So, next, 
is the coin hunt from White Yoshi Egg. Do, 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 do. The rent is due and Mario is run out of money. Quick, help him find some more. Uh, all right. That's all I needed to know. Because, you know, I support Mario. Oh. This is really black and white. Starkly black and white. Collect all the coins before the time runs out. Alright, so it's one of these. I mean, is this just... I'll pose the question to you guys for you all to answer your, yourselves, individually. Is this an art style or is this just cheating? We're gonna be homeless, Luigi! I gotta pay the rent! I gotta go to black and white land. Mario, I'll work! Look, Luigi, playing Dungeons and Dragons with your imaginary friends doesn't count as work, Luigi. Okay, you know what this looks like? Remember the TI-86 calculator games? That we, uh, you know, we we snuck Mario onto? <laughs> and, uh, all those other games that were just shit, but we played them in math class, because why not? For those that don't know, there was a calculator called the TI-86, which was basically, <laughs> had the pe computing power of a toaster. But, um, people managed to figure out how to put games on it. And they were really hard to look at. It was just black or white. Those were the colors. So Game Boy had four tones. That had two. This looks like what you would see on that. Or is it TI-83? I don't know. I got the number wrong, perhaps? Man, I gotta find my, my calculator, my old calculator. Maybe I still have it. Maybe I can stream some calculator games. They got better. I mean, the calculators are now, you know, you can actually see them in color. You do that at school still? That's still happening? You guys are still... Why am I still playing this? Hey, that's a real question. So far, nothing is that has happened has kept my attention. This is the coin hunt, too. I should have learned my lesson, but I haven't. Alright. Okay, this one looks like it's in color. Kind of. Alright, so we've upgraded to TI-96. <laughs> Say music! No fucks given. Say music. Oh, look, look, it's Luigi time. Well, I don't have a second controller, so we're done with the coin hunt. Um, Mario... Okay, Windows Mario World. This is our last or potentially second to last Mario for the night. Let's just say it's the last. Then we'll move on to Sonic. And then I have some other cool stuff for you guys. But we'll... You guys are really... These are have been good overall, I have to say. Compared to what we're about to see. Oh my god. Oh my god. Welcome to the demo version of Windows Mario World. Welcome. You've got fail. <laughs> Alright, we start with Windows 95. Hit blocks with question marks. Receive hints. Um, every level there's five compact discs. Okay, so it's Yoshi coins. Just... I gotcha. Mega Man music. Some nice crackles when you hit blocks. That's cheap. Okay, this is pretty cool. Um, I'm hearing some really nasty crackles. Do you, 
heard that? <laughs> when the Windows icon is getting shot out of a cannon, that's when it's at its worst. It's good. It's pretty good. Level design so far is simple, but I'm assuming that changes um, as you play through different operating systems. Yeah, I'm actually really impressed by this. I think I carry that spring. Oh, wait, no. And again, these are all Mario World, in case you couldn't tell. I'm sure most of you were able to tell, but this is all Mario World stuff. Which seems to be one of the most heavily ROM-hacked Mario games of all time, if not the most. I'm not sure, but it's the ones I see the most hacks for, or Mario World, so... I want to get through this level quickly, so we can see the next one, and then start Sonic. I feel like I'm carrying the, the fucking lawn gnome around in Half-Life 2, carrying the spring around. Plus. A lot of pluses on those windows. A little repetitive. Not gonna lie. It's a little repetitive, but it's okay, I guess. Windows 98, look at that. So each time, the darker hard drives on the overworld have two different exits. Does this look like Windows 98, or... I can't tell. Is it actually, like, a visual upgrade? Okay, yeah, I mean, it is cool. It is a bit repetitive. It's, uh... And not in a bad way. Not necessarily in a bad way. It's, it's still pretty good. Pretty spot on. Yeah? Well, that's good. Well, we need to do one more Windows to see the real aesthetic upgrade, so I'll do this last level. I guess when you have something as rich as this as a theme, you kind of hope that they, they do a little bit more. But it's still Mario, you know, it's still... Same enemies, um, same power-ups. You know, jump through on the blocks. It's not really anything... Like, there's no glitches or errors that you have to fight. There's no, you know, pop-up ads or anything like that, or, a, you know, virus or whatever. So, it's, it's pretty... I think there's a little bit more that could have been done with the theme, but that's just nitpicking. And I will say that I think this is one of the best ones I've played tonight. One of the top three or four, I would say. First being the one that Tucker made, of course. Here we go, Windows 2000. Okay, now, <laughs> look, MIRC. Oh my god, memories. Is this some um, Blaster Master music? Oh, it looks like they, they got it, mostly. Really not a whole lot of difference anyway, but Oh, it would be a lot of work to really add like new mechanics and stuff. But okay, this one strikes me as a little odd. This might not be the best finale for this, but this one's called TVW. I don't know what that means, but this will be our last Mario for the night. We'll do it real quick, see what it's like. Shit- oh, shit fit. I thought it said shit fit. TVW. Welcome to Tiny Variety World. Enjoy three unique stages, round up chickens, visit switches, or enjoy some nostalgia. Okay. 
Barnyard Mayhem Switchless Castle. Is that Final Fantasy VI asset? Alright. I don't know what game this is. Star Tropics? Mario Tropics? That makes sense, right? Again, sorry about the crackles. Missing one chicken collector. That's a uh, Joshi. Did that say Joshi? <laughs> Joshi. Look high and low for the chickens. That is Link's Awakening. Is that a chicken? Does that count as one? That's Link's Awakening music, isn't it? The chickens are coins. Okay, so we, we get the idea. Collect chickens, and finally, Switchless Castle. Switchless Castle, huh? I was going for the speed run up until I got hit by that thing. Alright. Alright, guys. Why don't we take two minutes, take a break, stretch your legs, take a piss, whatever, and I'll be back with the Sonic games, and we'll find out which ones are good, which ones are bad. Now, again, I'm not comparing Mario to Sonic necessarily, because there's so many different ROM hacks for each game that if I were to say Mario ROM hacks are better overall, I'd be talking out my ass. So, literally, I'd oh, like like Ace Ventura style. So I'm not going to do that. What I'll do instead is we'll choose our favorites from the ones that we see per, you know, per mascot. So we're not going to play favorites because I'll tell you what, these are going to be worse. These are going to be real bad. And some of those were real good. So stick around for like two or three minutes. I'll be right back. Going to get something to drink and we will get the Sonic shitty game started. See you very shortly.